Hello, welcome to YouTube channel of RV Max US. This is Sachin Shaw. Well, my name is Sachin Shaw. This is 2004 Airstream Land Yacht. A little cutie. I call it a cutie because look, it's sitting right in front of a 45 foot Prevost bus. This is a 26 feet Class A rare find. Very, very rare find. We sold it four years ago to a couple. Unfortunately, husband passed away. Got it back from a widow. It's really, really nice motorhome. Four years ago, we had taken 3M film off, 3M film from this mirrors and all that. It's in really, really good shape. Um, take a look at it. It's beautiful. Full body paint. Tires are like three, four years old. No worries on tires. They were Samson. We installed them uh, about three, four years ago. No dry checking. So you got the driver access door as you saw me jumping out of it. Let's open up some of the, com let's open up some compartments. There we go, extra water. That's your sewer discharge. Straight body, if you wanted to nitpick, maybe there's a slight d lamb right here, okay? And uh, it's a 2004 model. That's an outside shower here. I uh, believe it is. Uh, we had opened that up earlier. Yep, it's an outside shower. City hookup, city pressure. All right, come on back here. I think we open that. Tires, once again, in really, really good shape. You might have another two, three years at least. Knee-deep rubber. I mean, it's really deep rubber. Um, I couldn't see the tire date code, but we installed them uh, maybe three years ago when we sold it to them. They are. They do. They have those little lights. I think I have my t a light turned off inside. A 30 amp hookup with a little surge protector goes with it. Over here, a little motorhome with a, um, a good size LP tank while we're down here. Let me show you those power gear leveling jacks. So some of those big, huge leveling rams. You don't get them on t uh, those on 26 foot Class C. You know why get a Class C when you can get a Class A with all the luxury of a uh, Class A with the size of a Class C. That is your gravity pill water. That's right. Thank you. Potable water. This is your money hole. That's where you put your gas. Is that and that's your uh, got a little sewer hose holder too. And there is a sewer hold. And uh, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's your money hole. Mm, maybe wrong keys, but uh, that's what that's where you put money in there. So <laughs> Unlittered fuel. Are the Those are outside plug. So you got a coaxial cable hookup for some of those campground they are allow. And it's got a dinosaur telephone plug in. But I love the exterior, isn't it beautiful? Full paint is in beautiful shape. And you know what, it has only 18,000 miles. Let me repeat. 18,000 miles. This is a rare find. It's got a big 8.1 liter big engine uh, with a four speed Allison automatic or Chevrolet. Uh, let's see, back here you got some tire covers. That's what tires in a really good shape. They kept it at the lake. They had a shaded park, but they kept the tire in the cupboard. So it's not about the miles or the age, it's the condition. You got a, a portable satellite dish. Should be four or five thousand pound towing capacity. You got seven pin connector for your tow dolly. They actually, huh, they actually towed a car. A backup monitor, yep, color backup monitor. Come around here, small motor with a big punch. It has a 5,500 watts on end generator. I think it's got really low hours, around 600 hours or so. Please verify with our pictures. Good hours. You got them. That's a six gallon water heater. That's a DSI, it's a direct spark ignition. That little control board lights up, click, 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 and fires it up. So those folks have seen those 80s and 70s modem, you gotta come out and light them up. <laughs> those are old school, but that's a DSI. You got your furnace here. By the way, that's about a three year old awning. When we got it the first, the awning wasn't there and previous owner wanted us to put new awning, so we'll put a new awning for them so it's a uh, three years old a little bit of paint coming off here you know so it's got few flaws of course they all have few flaws 
It's not a brand new. Actually, new motorhomes, when you buy them, they have like a lot of kinks that you got to get them out. And especially if you finance them and making payments, first few payments, you're making them to let it sit in the dealership because you take them back to fix them. Where are the two plug-ins there? Those two plug-ins should be for a 110. Indeed, they are. So, you know, you can put your TV out here or you're doing some boom box or whatever, you know. Usually it's for something out here. You can tailgate. That completes the outside. And take a look at the front, the aerodynamic. And this thing is short. So compared to some of those 13 foot, 14 foot, 13 foot, 8 inches tall class A, this is around 11 feet or, or shorter. So a little bit of a clear coat's coming off on top. And uh, that's my... Huh? Roof is in excellent shape. Uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll get up and show them. It's got a, a slight little a patch or, you know, previous uh, repairs, which is, you know, okay. You got to repair your coach as, as you get them. Uh, as you own them, you got to maintain them. But uh, I think I'll, I'll throw that video in it. Uh, so outside, that completes our interior, exterior video. 26 foot rare find. Welcome inside this unique small motorhome. You probably wonder why people would buy small Class A. I would say some people don't want them, you know, buy Class B or Class C. They want all the comfort of a big, large Class A motorhome in this small size of a Class A because it has leveling jacks, 5,500 watts, big generator, uh, a higher ride. This is a six foot seven inch. Uh, by the way, um, so. It's, it's just really nice. Look at the hardwood floors. We put these hardwood floors about four years ago before we sold it to a previous customer that we got it back from. Um, so let's start in a cockpit area. Let me turn both these seats swivel around, and they're both a power seat. It does have tilt, telescoping, got power windows. We have a CD player, backup monitor, heater, air conditioning, or leveling jacks are right here. And I think it used to be TV in here. They changed it. It had a little TV. Now TV's in the middle. Uh, there's a workhorse owner's manual here. And uh, when we get on a test drive, I'll tell you, this thing got 455 pound, of, pound foot of a, uh, torque on 8.1 liter uh, Chevy chassis. I mean, it has got power. It's like a sports RV, like sports car. This is a sports RV. All right. What are the miles? Miles are 18,020 miles. I think I covered that earlier, but it's got 150 hours on generator. So both swivel around, both seats, and, and, and leather materials in really, really good shape. Uh, it looks real leather. Airstream don't make cheap stuff. So both of them are power seat. Sometimes these plastic things break and brittle, but you know, uh, seems to be in okay shape. This couch has a slight wear. I see a light, very, very small tear. Hard to see in the video, but I just want to point it out. Uh, we have a day and night shades. So that's a day shade, and then you got a, another one that comes down as a night shade. So up on top, we got the, the digital, what do you call, um, the direct dish, I'm sorry, direct dish. Uh, that you saw the dome on the outside you could just hook it up previous owner had it we don't get in too much into it there's a small tv here i mean it's a large you can put probably bigger tv here if you want to tvs are next to nothing you probably get a 35 inch tv here uh this light is on dimmer above dinette or sofa area this both armrest comes up and this thing becomes a bed it also has a drawer under here a little bit of storage. Is that where the table goes? Table can go here. I, I haven't found a couple of poles, but they could probably buy them from RV Supply for probably 20, 30 bucks. The pole, we have the table in the back. Couldn't find a pole. Uh, lots of cabinet space in the uh, kitchen area. Uh, I think one of these light needs a bulbs or something. D dual stainless steel sinks. Corian type solid floor or solid countertops. Got pre burner gas stove. Very, very clean. And it just folds down and goes in the back when you're cooking or storing it. It even has a little spice rag back there. I like that. Uh, 
So this is a convection oven, the sharp convection oven. Got a little fan here. All right, let's come on in the center. Right here, we got a double door refrigerator. Okay, let's show the bathroom first, okay. So the hardwood floors continues here, and then you got the pedestal, is, the toilet area is up on top. You got a glass and counter shower. And it has a skylight up on top, so even larger than six feet can take a shower in here, or six feet, eight inches, or whatever, that tall person. Uh, got a little fan up on top, exhaust fan. So over here, we got a double door refrigerator. It looks like new, but it's, it could be 2004, or it could have been changed. So curious to know. <laughs> it looks newer than 04, but it, it, it works. That's the best thing. Uh, I didn't see the date. I'm just so curious. It looks so new. Yeah, they have a little date code somewhere on the back, but it's in a really good shape. Yeah, there's a lease called Jennifer. It does have. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. So we've got a furnace going on in South Carolina right now. It's temperatures around 39 or 40. And uh, I turn a heat pump on. I just turn it off because of the noise level. You know, it's a little louder than a furnace, especially trying to do video. But the furnace works really good. It's, it's also newer. So because uh, I'm glad you brought that up. You see the little indentation, uh, what do you call Indentation or the sign of, a, of an older AC because I, I was on top and I saw it. It's a newer domatic AC because they didn't come with this kind of thermostat in 04. So it's a newer AC with a heat pump. That's, that's a plus. Besides, we got the furnace going. So this carpet is about four years old. This designer carpet, we put that on about four years ago when we did the hardwood floors. We got a privacy curtain. And back here, you got some drawers in this pillar right here, including some storage under there. Oh, there's an old carpet there. <laughs> yeah, this is a newer carpet. Your circuit board, 120. Uh, circuit panel circuit so there is another TV back here and it's a bigger one than a front the Sanyo it uh, I guess somehow or another it'll open up and it comes out it's a swivel kind maybe it's got a lock in it here then we had it on a minute ago let's see oh it's on okay cool HDMI yeah but this thing I think it's swivel and it's supposed to come out of this place, and I'm trying to figure out why not. Uh, maybe it's fixed. Okay, but anyway, you don't need to come out, I guess, if you swivel. So this is a, I guess, full-size bed, you would call it? Yeah, full-size full bed. I mean, you know, it's uh, I'm going to take my shoes off and kind of lay down. See, I'm six feet tall in this pillow. Oh, yeah. Nice to sleep in here. Yep. Uh, that big exterior compartment you saw. And the tire you could see from way in there, guess what? You can access it from here a lot easier. Check it out. See? So Boom, right the there. Table, right? There's a table, yep. I don't know where are those poles. I have not seen the poles. Again, we can get. Size, that is a full size, yep. No, no uh, donuts in the motorhome. That's a full size. Good question, though. All right, we've got a couple of reading lights. Uh, Man, it's got a radio thing. I don't know if it'll work because it's a newer. And you got a little nice wall lamp. And the storage is deep. Yes, the storage is pretty deep. Yeah. Yeah, you can put some bed sheets and, you know, nice ceiling up on top. Uh, day and night shades on that side. Nice. How about that cupboard behind it? I'm going to show that. Look at, look at this. So much space for vanity. You know, those ladies want to make up. Oh, man. Even man, we have all kinds of stuff, shaver and uh, shaver cream and all that stuff. Uh, you can put it up here. Even has some, hey, little fan goes with it. All right. The, so this one, uh, absolutely. Yep. Right here. Nice medicine cabinet. And you got a little window back here too. So in a sunny Florida or sunny South Carolina, wherever you let the sun come out in the morning. All right. Over here. So this thicker, let's see. You know, back here, I don't know if I talked about it or not, it's got a little, the wall is a little soft here. 
And it was like that when we bought it four years ago from back when it had 5,000 miles. No further damage, but it was done. So, you know, if you don't like it, uh, you can put new wall here. I wouldn't worry about it. It has no mildew order or anything like that. But this little, little soft spot, I like to point out anything I see wrong with it. This is a 2004. It is not a 2021. That is uh, like your GVWR. It's uh, 15,000 pound, 13,075 pound is a UVW. That stands for uh, unloaded vehicle weight. Uh, it has a 50 gallons of fresh water tank. That's, that's enormous compared to some of those little Class C. That's where the advantage of a Class A versus Class C. Um, let's see, it's got a 19 gallons of LP tank. Um, stuff like that but check check our things out see I made a little note on here so I'm gonna cheat right here earlier so uh, it's got a six feet seven inch ceiling yep p32 workhorse chassis 340 horsepower v8 455 pound per pound per feet pound torque um, fuel tank is 60 gallons full body paint Let's see what we got. Uh, 10 feet, 2 inches uh, with AC, but you know th this one is a replaced AC. It could be a little bit taller, but it's still a lot shorter than your average class say They're about 12 feet tall. Um, it has a welded tubular frame around the Chevrolet P32 chassis, and uh, it's aluminum all on top, steel on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. If, kind of with the sensor. Mm, fantastic fan with a rain sensor, a diesel or gas motorhome. Here's your level meter. It tells you what your um, monitor panel, your tank levels, and all that stuff. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's get on. The, let's get on the road and tell them anything about this and see how it drives. Let's hit the road. All right, let's hit the road with this little short little motorhome. Um, we're gonna sum it up, how it drives and all. I've driven it on the highway. It is, like I said, it's like a sports RV. Like you have a car and then you have a sports car. This is a sports RV because it's very, very small, but it's got an 8.1 liter big motor. That's like a 500 some odd cubic inches Chevrolet motor with a 455 pound foot of a torque. I mean, we're on a back road here. Let me just, you know, I've been driving just for, you know, a few minutes. Motor is warmed up. We're gonna treat motorhome just like we do our performance cars, let it warm up. I'm gonna get on the highway and show you how the punch is in there. Now, those of you, those of you that have never driven motorhomes, we sold a recently a motorhome to a lady. She drove like, you know, like a Honda CRV or small SUV. Or even you have a bigger SUV, you know, Toyota 4Runner. But when you get in the motorhome, it was a 3500 Chevrolet van, a 21 foot van, and she was not used to with the brake and she thought it's something not wrong, uh, something wrong. I said, you take it to your local mechanic and they said that's the way hydrostatic brakes, they will feel a little spongy, okay? And then you get up into diesel motorhome, they have air brakes. I don't want to blab so much about the brakes, but I just want to mention that, you know, some of these class A motorhomes, if you've never driven them, I mean, it's a 15,000 pound road. It's like, it weighs three times more than your big SUVs. So, you know, the brake is hydrostatic. It'll feel a little spongy. It will stop though. Here we come in the red light. Here we go. Boom, I can stop. You just got to push it a little harder. Anyways, uh, we'll continue video once we get on the highway. All right, here we go. We're about to take 385 north towards Greenville, South Carolina. And there we go. Man, the acceleration is beautiful. Just, just awesome. Already doing 50 miles an hour. 55, 60, 65, 70. Well, I guess I'm gonna slow down here, but it, it drives just, it's got a great acceleration. So, uh, once again, I can uh, say that people have never driven big Class A. Well, this is not a big one. You know, it's a short 26 foot. Drives really good. It's got tilt steering wheel, workhorse chassis, 
uh, aerodynamic front. That Airstream made it very cleverly. It will give you a good 9 to 11 miles per gallon, depending on the, your driving habits. You're going to get most uh, fuel economy at 60 to 65 miles an hour. And it's got a 60 gallons of a 65 gallons of a, a gas tank. So you, 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 could, you could go easily 500 to 550, 600 miles in a one tank. I mean, you know, you're probably going to stop around 500 miles or 450, but uh, a good, good, good bit of a good size of tank and with a good gas mileage, you can go long before you have to stop to refill. Uh, let's see. Uh, heat's working great right now, the DAS heat. It handles really good. I, I, I'm doing about 65 miles an hour, not fighting. As you can see, the steering wheel, it's now, you know, it's not going to drive like your car, okay? Uh, and also, if you would compare with a big diesel pusher with the air ride, it's not going to ride like that too. So I don't know, I may be confusing you, but I'm, I'm giving you honest feedback. It drives really good. I'm not fighting it to keep it straight in the line. Now, you know, you could add aftermarket steering, uh, steering stabilizer. It would probably get more stability, especially when 18 will pass you by or when you are passing them, vice versa, you know. Uh, so you could add steering wheel stabilizer because the wind would hit it, it's got the walls and the gas coaches are not as uh, sturdy and what do you call, planted ride like diesel pushers. But that's some give and take. But this would ride a whole lot better than Class C that retains the air in the, uh, you know how they have that hump, like a two men in a truck or, uh, so I love Class A any day. So if you're looking for short mud on and you're going for Class C, I would buy Class A any day, any night. So uh, drives really good here. I'm, you see with all the traffic on the highway, I'm handling it with a one hand, take your hands off and just steer straight. No problem whatsoever. So let's see what else I can add. Uh, runs good. It's got a good power. Uh, I'm going to take the exit. Yep. You got to get used to with a bigger vehicle than your normal car. It's not a big RV. It's a small Class A. Uh, I like to mention. I might have mentioned it earlier. It's one of the rare. Oh, okay. You got to look out your right side. Now you can spend a little extra money and put a side cameras if you want to. It'll cost you thousand, fifteen hundred bucks. You can add side cameras. I've got a backup monitor. Works really, really well. Got nice little radio. Let's see. The 80s are back. This is the 80s show. I'm Jeff Stevens. 80s coming back. All right. So uh, I like 80s music. Um, what else I can add? So it, it runs really good. Temperature as well. Uh, you can have it checked out by local mechanics that we have. Or, um, you know, we sell warranty, by the way. By that way, it'll be covered from a day one when you drive it off from our lot. Uh, or you can buy your own warranty from anywhere on online. We're not your typical big dealership trying to choke you down on a warranty and all that stuff. And when we give you price, it's out of the door price. Uh, we don't charge any dock fees or walk through fees, all that. We'll make sure everything works. When you get here, refrigerator be ice cold, no water leak, water heater would work. I mean, it'll be camp ready, okay? Uh, if he's got any flaws that we mentioned and showed it to you, they come automatically free. Uh, my phone number is 864-404-0054. That number again is 864 864- 404-0054 or our son's phone number 864-376-5600 that's 864-376-5600 you could text us that's probably more efficient way to get a hold of us it's just all those robocall comes in we don't answer a phone lot so text us if you're serious about it I don't think this modem is going to last too long we've had it listed a month listed on the internet and we're about to put a video up so um, give us a call or text us, 864-404-0054 and son, mine, 864-376-5600. Anything else, Lizzie? That's it. Thank you. Have a blessed day.